Hi, it's Kev here from Australian Mobile Computer Repairs. Today, I want to show you how you can back up your photo collection to a DVD. Now, to do this, all that we need is a program called Nero, which I have installed just down here, and we need a blank 4.7 gigabyte DVD minus R, or plus R if you prefer, but I prefer minus Rs. So, first things first, we're going to pop the disk into the computer. Now, which I have already done. And now we'll double click on the Nero Smart Start icon. This is going to open up the Nero program. So we'll point to the star and select Make Data DVD. This window here will allow us to add the content to our disk. So we'll single click the Add button. And usually by default, My Documents will show up. If it doesn't, you can just click the My Documents icon here and this will display all of your files and folders. In this case, we want to back up My Pictures. So we'll single click the My Pictures folder, then go down and click Add. Now we're going to repeat this for the other information that we want to back up. Now here's a little secret. We'll single click the first file, hold the Control key down, and we'll continue to click the other files. You'll notice I'm still holding the control key down. Now if you notice that you want to deselect a file, still holding onto the control key, we can click one of the files and then that will deselect it. Now I've let go of the control key and I'll click the add button. That will add those files to our disk. Once we're happy that we've got everything that we want to back up to our DVD, we'll click the close button. This is what's going to be written to our DVD. Now you'll notice the little green bar down the bottom here. The green indicates how much of the disk that we've actually used. The yellow line here indicates the amount of disk space that we've got left. So you notice that this is a little bit of overkill just backing up this small amount of information to a DVD. Typically, anything that's below 700 megabytes, which is around this mark here, I'd recommend using a CD, not a DVD. But in most cases, yeah, we'd want to use a DVD. So once we're happy that we haven't left anything out, we'll click the Next button. Here is where we can change the disk name. So I'll click here and My Photos Backup. And if the information is very important, you might want to select the Verify Data on Disk After Burning option, but in this case it's fine. Now we'll click the Burn button. And that's it. The disk is going to be burnt. Now it's really important that while the disk is burning, that you don't use the computer. This can sometimes take up to 5 or 10 minutes, depending on how much information that you've got on your disk. OK, our disk has burnt successfully, so I'll click the OK button. The disk has automatically ejected. I'll just click the Next button, and we can close this window here. If it asks if you want to save, just go Never Show This Message Again, and click No. There's no reason to save the project. And that's it. Now, just a little bit of advice. Once you've burnt a disk, it's always a good idea to pop the disk back into the computer double-click my computer and you'll notice here we have our DVD drive so once the disk has loaded we can double-click on it and here's what's on our CD and that's it we've just verified that the information that we've burnt is actually on our disk hope you enjoyed